Welcome to our series of short technical discussions. It's all about rope. This time we're looking at how extremes in temperature affect high-performance synthetic ropes. In other words, how cold can you go? And how hot is too hot? How cold can you go? This photo shows Amsteel Blue on a shipboard winch buried under heavy ice. In order to understand how our lines perform in an extremely cold environment, we studied the flexibility and strength of ropes being directly exposed to a broad range of temperatures. Flexibility Testing shows that ropes made from Dyneema fiber, such as Amsteel Blue, remain quite flexible even at an extremely cold temperature of minus 125 degrees Celsius. Strength As shown here, ropes made with Dyneema fiber actually become stronger at lower temperatures. The rope may gain 5 to 10 percent of its breaking strength if the environment becomes as cold as minus 50 degrees Celsius. Projections show that the rope will gain more strength at even lower temperatures of minus 150 degrees Celsius. In cold environments, there is also a concern that ice may damage the rope through abrasion or cutting due to the ice's rigidity and sharp edges. To test this theory, we froze wet Amsteel Blue to minus 5 degrees Celsius in two different configurations, a shallow bend and bent in a full 180 degrees. The frozen rope samples were then placed in the tensile tester where the strength was tested. The results show no loss of strength regardless of the frozen configuration. The Conclusion The safe operating temperature for ropes constructed from Dyneema fiber, such as Amsteel Blue, Force 8, Neutron 8, DPX-75 or Turbo-75 is at least as low as minus 125 degrees Celsius. How hot is too hot? The climates of the Middle East, Northern Africa, and the Northwest Shelf are subject to extremely high temperatures on a daily basis. Although shipping companies using mooring lines made with Dyneema have been servicing these areas without incident, Samson conducted experiments to better understand the effects of heat. Effects of Ambient Temperature How does heat affect the rope's strength? Exposure to temperatures up to 75 degrees Celsius does not have a significant effect on the residual strength of Amsteel Blue. Similarly, thermal cycling of 8 hours at 65 degrees Celsius, followed by 16 hours at 20 degrees Celsius, did not result in any significant strength loss over a period of 60 days. At elevated ambient temperatures, Dyneema fibers will soften, resulting in a reduction of strength. However, for realistic environmental temperatures between 20 degrees and 50 degrees Celsius, the fiber loses less than 8% of its breaking strength. Effects of Conducted Heat When a rope comes in contact with a hot surface, the heat is conducted into the rope. However, unlike the effects of ambient heat, the conducted heat may not increase the entire rope's temperature to that of the contact surface. Lab tests placing ropes on a 70 degrees Celsius constant heat source show the temperature increases with time. Interestingly, the rope's upper surface never reaches the heat source temperature, showing a steady-state heat equalization with the environment. Since not all of the fibers are heated to the temperature of the hot surface, it is expected that most of the strength of the rope is still maintained. The Conclusion Climatic temperature is not a factor affecting the lifetime of Dyneema fiber ropes. The most extreme ambient temperatures here on Earth, the hottest or the coldest, will have little effect on your high-performance line. Regular inspections are critical to appraising the overall condition and to maintaining the safe working life of high-performance ropes. Samson has developed several resources to help you evaluate the state of your ropes. The new Samson app for iPhones and iPads is available at samsonrope.com. It is also available in printed form. Ask your Samson rep for a copy of the Inspection and Retirement Pocket Guide. Either way, it's a visual reference to conditions that may affect the rope's strength, integrity, and safe service life. There are downloadable versions of these Samson technical bulletins. How Cold Can You Go, and Tanker Mooring in Hot Climates. Both are available at samsonrope.com under the Resources menu. You'll find a library full of technical information and papers, full specifications, and helpful information on specific applications for all Samson products.